Hi, I'm Debbie Cronister. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm glad you're joining me today. You can find me at stampwithdeb.com and I am here on, I'm on Facebook Live every Tuesday at three o'clock and Pacific time. And um, I'm so happy you're here with me today. Let's get started. I have a really fun project for you today. You can see it. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty and it's not even made with Christmas paper. Um, it is made with one of our new um, decorated with happiness um, bundles. This is the bundle that I used. It comes with the dies. Let's see if my dies are in here. They are in here. So it comes with a set of dies which has ornaments and it has, there's a big branch here that is over on my die cutting machine um, and lots of little stars and a bow there's another bow i think maybe not on this one ornaments it's it's really a nice set and i know i'm going to be making christmas cards with them so today i am making christmas card but i'm not using christmas designer series paper so the paper i'm using is lovely in linen and it's in our annual catalog but look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Doesn't that look Christmassy to you? Um, it does to me. I'm using this piece and this piece and the front one that I showed you. And the rest of them I'm not. Let me flip it over and you can see the other sides. Other sides, yeah. So they're kind of pretty. I only have one pack of it because I only buy one pack so that I can see if I like it, but I really kind of like it. This is pretty. Um, I can see where that's going to end up on some cards. And this one's kind of old-fashioned looking. Um, this one here. It's kind of old-fashioned looking, and so it's kind of fun in that, in that way. Um, let's get going. So this is my card, and it folds up like this. Is that the prettiest? I think it's so pretty. I did not put any bling on here. I'm kind of getting out of the bling thing lately. Um, you guys that know me, you know that I always have bling on everything. But this one I think is shimmery enough with the ribbon and I put some Wink of Stella on it. So this is one of the ornaments that I had cut out with one of those dies. So let's get started. I'm going to grab my paper trimmer and I'm gonna show you how I did this card from the beginning, hopefully. Um, need to move all my little pieces off here. I do have a template and I will put that template online once I, on my blog, once I get that on. So, let me move these off my paper. I'm starting with a piece of, and now this one I did um, soft, so, soft succulent. Um, and I was very pleased with the way it came out but I thought, what if I did it with Evening Evergreen? So I have an eight and a half by 11 sheet of Evening Evergreen. I'm gonna line it up at one and a quarter inches on, I'm using the left-hand side of my paper trimmer over here. And so I'm gonna line it up at one and a quarter inches. And I'm gonna cut from one and three quarters. Oh, this one doesn't have, wait a minute, let me change. my newer um, cutter and I haven't put the paper on it and so I can't see the numbers so let's switch out and get my old one okay so I see what I've done I put a piece of paper underneath here and I just glued it in there so that when it's on a dark color I can still see the numbers so I'm gonna put this at one and three quarter one and a quarter and I'm gonna score from one and three quarters so now I can see it I mean I'm gonna cut cut from one and three quarters to need to get there come down a little bit to five and a quarter okay and that's with my five that's with this oh I didn't cut my paper okay we're gonna cut our paper first <laughs> first we're gonna pretend like I didn't do that okay first we're gonna cut our paper at five and a half so I have it 11 by five and a half that would have been okay now you're going to put this in here and you're going to put it at one and a quarter and you're going to cut from one and three quarters to five and a quarter 
So that didn't make any difference. Now I'm gonna take my paper and I'm gonna flip it over this way. It's really important, don't flip it around, just flip it over and you're gonna do the same exact thing on here. So you're gonna go from one and a quarter, I mean line this up at one and a quarter, and you're gonna go from one and three quarters, which is right about there, to five and a quarter. It's harder doing it with a, trying to keep my head out of the camera. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn it so it's landscape, and I'm gonna score at one and three quarters. I'm gonna go right there, but I'm only gonna score up here and down here. I do not wanna score this middle section in here. If you accidentally do it, it's not the end of the world um, because we're gonna put a piece of card, um, another piece of cardstock over top of that. So if you do it, it's don't throw it away. You can you still use it. So I'm just gonna go from there and then from here to the bottom. All right, then I'm gonna move this over to, and that was with this at one and three quarters. Then I'm gonna move over to I'm gonna move over to three and a half and I'm gonna score through all, all the way up and down, okay? And then I'm gonna move over to five and a quarter and score at the entire thing. Now this is gonna be right here at our the end of our cut lines is where that's gonna end. Oh, I cut. Okay, I'm gonna score. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna do anything about it. But don't cut there, guys, score. And then I'm gonna move it over to seven inches and I'm gonna score. Okay. Now my last panel, my card is only four inches wide. Just so you know, if yours ends up that way, that's the way it's intended to be. We would need a larger piece of paper. If I would used a 12 inch piece of paper, it would have worked um, differently, but then I would have had to figure out all the measurements again. So I am going to fold that over and burnish it. And then fold this one back this way. The one I don't wanna fold, I wanna fold this one this way. Oh, I didn't score that very good, did I? Okay, let's see if I can make it work by doing the bottom. Nope, we're gonna have to get the score out here. I didn't go all the way down and or press hard enough probably. When I score, I usually like to use um, an awl and I don't have one handy. So um, I'm gonna put this back in at one and three quarters and I'm going to score that top again, pressing hard. Okay, that should be good. Isn't it great to know that we all make mistakes? Yeah. Okay, so I don't want to score, I don't want to fold this part right here, okay? I just want to fold the other. So let's make that. All right, and then this is going to go, the center is going to go towards me, and then these are going to go back. It almost goes there if you pull the center. It just. All right, there is our card base, so that is, is the way it's gonna go. Okay, and I will put all these measurements on my blog, like I said, and I'll put a link below this video so you can just click into it. Okay, and then I have Evening Evergreen that I'm going to use for my stamping. And I'm gonna put a little branch. I almost thought I should put it up. Oh, you know what, on this one, I'm gonna put it up here because that way it will show on the front. So I'm just gonna put a little branch right there and another one coming off there. And then I'm gonna stamp my greeting and the greeting says, wishing you a season decorated with happiness and wonder. I thought that was sweet. So let's see if I can get this straight. That's just since my paper's not sitting straight. And there we are. I think my pad needs re-inked. It almost looks like soft succulent. Okay, so I'm going to attach these two together and like I said, I am gonna give you the measurements on my blog. I just, um, I know that this is not, this is four inches wide. So I think I cut this at three and three quarters and the soft succulent, and then I cut the basic white an eighth of an inch less. Move that out of the way before I put my hand in it. Okay. 
and this is going to go in here. So everything that I did here, I did the same thing. So I cut it, I cut my soft succulent a half an inch smaller, I mean a quarter of an inch smaller, like on this one. This is going to go in here, and I cut that a quarter of an inch smaller, but then I cut the DSP only an eighth of an inch smaller. So that, maybe I did. <laughs> Okay, I wanted a border around it. So, um, did I cut that the right size? I certainly did not. I had a feeling I didn't. Let's just trim that up. Thank goodness for the paper trimmer, huh? So I probably did that on both of them. Um, so this needs to be cut at five and a quarter. Yeah, I just had a little bit too much. And then I can attach this, and it just leaves a nice even border, one eighth of an inch border all the way around. Okay, and same on this one. Let me just check this one, because I have a feeling this one is cut the same. Because they were, that was the idea, was that they were the same size. Okay, now let's try putting this down again. We won't let it go too far though. We may need it again, who knows. Okay, so I'm just gonna attach my DSP to my soft succulent. This would be really pretty for any occasion. You could do a happy birthday, you could do a, um, gosh, anything, a get well card. Any card would work for this. Okay, so I'm just gonna attach this in here so you can see it's a quarter of an inch, so there's more room here than there is in that little bit there. But that was what I was after. And I'm gonna attach this one to this section. Come down a little bit. Okay, now I have these little tiny pieces that I cut, and I should have put them together when I cut them, but I slightly ran out of time. It's been a busy day. So I'm going to attach those just like that. And this is one of the patterns of the DSP. This is not the one I wanted here. Hmm. Okay, well, it's the one we're using because that's what I have cut. Ah. <laughs> uh, so, that's all right. It's still gonna be beautiful. It doesn't matter, does it? Okay. I might change the other one then. I'm going to, I'm gonna change the other one. I'm gonna cut a new piece for the front and for this section right here. Oops, oops, oops. Come on, put it on there straight. Okay. These little pieces sometimes are so hard to handle with our, my big fat fingers. Alrighty. So this, I cut this same pattern for the front, but you know what guys, I'm gonna change it. I am going to cut the, I think that'll be good. Um, the other pattern that I had on the other card, this one. So let's just check out and make sure that I've got the right measurements. I think it's two and five eighths. Um, yeah, two and five eighths. So I'm gonna cut that at two and five eighths. I think that'll look really pretty with the branches. By two and five eighths. And then the other piece will be two and five eighths by 
one and five eighths, one and a half. So we know this is two and five eighths, so we'll cut one and a half. Okay. I think it'll make the branches stand out a little bit more. Okay, so, oh, that's cut wrong. Wow. I'm off that much, huh? Is this one right? No. Okay, let's measure this again. <laughs> so I get two and three quarters. I must have cut wrong. Let's try it. Let's look. Oh. Did I cut it wrong? Did I cut it smaller? Um, two and five eighths is right there. Maybe I just grabbed the wrong piece of paper. Let's try that. No. Okay, this isn't two and five eighths by two and five eighths. This is crazy. I'm sorry, I can't figure this out. Two and three quarters. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> Let me just grab a piece of that paper. And I'm gonna try it again. And it's gonna be cut at two and five eighths. So this is two and a half. That's two and five eighths, cause that's two and three quarters. Perfect. What did I do wrong? I don't know, I was looking, I must have cut it two and three eighths. Okay, so that's two and a half, two and five eighths. I think I need something to eat. <laughs> All right, there we go. So then this is two and five eighths, and I'm gonna measure the other little strip that I have here, wherever it went, this one, because this one goes in here. Okay, and this is, Two and two and three quarters. That would be right. By one and a half. So this needs to be one and three eighths. Perfect. All right. I don't know what I was doing, but I was obviously not doing it right, huh? Do you guys ever do that? And it's frustrating because I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, this is right. But it was obviously not right because it wasn't working out. Measurements, aren't they fun? I always love it when I have to convert something from meters or millimeters. That's like, okay. Thankfully, though, my rulers have that conversion and my paper trimmer does, too. That looks crooked to me. Okay, here we go. All right, now I've already die cut my branches and I die cut them in three colors. I did them in soft succulent, in gold, and in um, evening evergreen. So this is the piece that I said, if you happen to score right here, not to worry about because this is gonna go over it. So you see what would happen? It's gonna go right there and you're gonna glue it down. A lot of times we don't glue this section on things. We, you know, we leave it up so that it is extended, but on this particular card, you're gonna glue it down. So there is my card. Now let's just add some branches and finish it off. I'm gonna use my glue dots for my branches because they seem to hold a little bit better. As soon as I find them, I've already lost them. I think they went on the floor. Okay, and so I'm going to start with my gold. And I'm going to put my glue dot right here at the intersection. That way it'll be nice, a, a nice firm hold, maybe. Let me get a piercing tool and pull that off. There we go, that way I got, <laughs> okay, let go. And I'm just gonna start with attaching that. I wanna make sure it's still on my card. 
And then I'm gonna put my green one on, my evening evergreen on next. There we go. And just put that a little bit over this way. And this one, before I put it on, I'm gonna take some Wink of Stella and just add some a little bit of shimmer to that. Just because I'm not putting any bling on there and that'll give it a little bit of a, a pretty little shine. I thought about putting gold on the card. Thought about putting gold around here. That would be really pretty, adding it to it. You could add gold, um, a different gold ribbon, but you could also use a gold bling on it, and that would be really pretty. So let's get this right there. Oops, nothing like pulling it up and holding it down at the same time. Um, I think I'll come this direction with that one, just so you get a little bit of everything like that. Okay, and actually it could even gone out further, a little further into the, under the card here. Okay. Let me grab my ribbon, we'll tie a bow. And I'm using the gold, um, what's it called? Satin edged ribbon. So it's just such a pretty ribbon. I, I love this ribbon. I think it's gonna show up on all my Christmas cards. And just tie that bow. And that ends cut nicely, so we'll cut this in, and I'm gonna attach this with a glue dot as well. Okay, so a little later today, you will find all of the instructions and the measurements on my blog for this. You'll have to give me some time to get it on there, but it'll be there, or look tomorrow. For sure, it'll be there by tomorrow. Um, but um, I think it needs bling. Let's add some bling to it. So. so pretty and they're so delicate so these are the red and green adhesive back pearls and boy I could do any color on there couldn't I what color gold that's the soft succulent or the red I think we should go with the gold let's just stay with that let me get my take your pick tool my favorite tool here and I'm just gonna add a little bit in right there. Maybe a little bit down here. And one more up at the top. Um, uh oh, that's supposed to be in, folded in. So let's put it on there. That's supposed to go in like that. Okay, there we go. And there is my card for today. So if you need any supplies, please check out stampwithdeb.com where you'll find a link to purchase the supplies that I used today. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. You can either do that through face, by posting a, um, a note here on Facebook or you can email me or, or you can reach me through my blog, um, any of those ways. Or give me a call if you know me and have my number. Uh, even if you don't know me, you can find my number on the internet, don't worry. <laughs> So um, thank you guys.